Hello everyone, welcome back. It's the middle of June here in Minnesota and it's time for the Minnesota mud bugging season. So I need to pull a few of my traps down here. I already have some uh, fish stuff that I had thought out for a day here and I am ready to hit the river. I think we'll just do maybe two or three traps. Just we'll see what's going on down there. I wanted to do it during the week like this so there's not a lot of people out there that are tubing and everything like that messing with my traps. So now's the perfect time. I've got some leftovers from playing fish right there. I'm all sprayed for wood ticks and mosquitoes. Let's hit the river. Seems like it's been a long time since I've been here. Well, things have changed a little bit right here. There used to be that little quiet spot right there. Now it looks like it's moved out to there, so I'll have to try to get a trap out there. It looks like there might be some good areas over there too now. It seems pretty calm. So like I said, I've got some old pieces of filleted fish and then I've got some uh, freezer burned bacon. I'm, I'm not bagging anything, I just want to see if they're out here. It's always exciting just to throw it in and see what happens. All right, there's number two. I think for the third one, since nobody is down here and the water seems low under the bridge there, I'm gonna go put one on the other side. Used to have really good luck over there, and then uh, my trap started to get damaged. But uh, let's give it a try. It's right beginning of the week here, so maybe nobody will be out here. All we got to do now is sit and wait. Well, we'll be back out tomorrow afternoon sometime and check those traps. I was just leaving to check the uh, traps and there's a mother wild turkey here and she's got some babies behind her. I'm going to see if I can't get a shot of them. I 
I always like watching the little baby chicks like that. So it's almost exactly 24 hours later right now that we're gonna go check these traps. Well, my string is still there, that's good. I think we'll go do the one that's way down there first. That's what I like to see right there. Well, we'll let that one soak another day. Go off here to the next one. Check that one out. <laughs> There's a lot of them in there. One more to go. Not bad, we got some fairly decent numbers in this one too. Look at the size of that one right there. Nice. Well, let's go back and count those up. That's quite a few. That's a quarter of a bucket anyway. Well, we ended up with 120 in there. Now I'll just put these, I got that bag of ice in there, I'll close up this cooler and go back out there tomorrow afternoon, see how many more we get. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, it's about 24 hours later, I'm heading out to the river to check those traps. I'm kind of excited, I hope that we do good like we did yesterday. It's about 81 degrees right now, not a cloud in the sky. as many today as there was yesterday but still got I don't know a decent amount there's got to be at least a dozen of them in there maybe more
That is what you call a pretty good catch there. There is a lot, a lot of them in there. Wow. I'm not putting any fresh bait in this time. I'm just leaving what was in there in the trap because uh, I'm going to leave them one more day and then tomorrow I'm going to pull them all out. Not too bad for day two. We'll go back and get these in the cooler and count them up. See how we're doing. So I caught 113 today. So we had 120 yesterday, 113 today. I think I'm gonna take and weigh these, see how many this is. Let's So that was 8.3 pounds and that um, I did hit the tear button so the, the bucket wasn't in there on that weight. So that's not bad. Usually when Melissa and I buy them, already boiled, we'll buy 10 pounds. So tomorrow I should go over 10 pounds. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. It's the morning of the following day. I think I'm going to go pull those traps early instead of waiting until this afternoon because that rain eventually is going to get here and that's a lot of yellow if it doesn't disappear. It's going to rain here for a long time. Just a few in this one. Just like yesterday, we didn't catch that many. I don't have, I don't know, six or eight in this one maybe. Trying to kind of rush through this. The Mosquito Control Agency is up there and they're gonna treat this part of the river for, I think it was biting gnats. Anyway, they're waiting until I get my traps pulled before they put anything in the water. Still got some running around in this one too. Not bad for that bait being just about completely gone.
Oh, got a few more in this one too. Well, not a whole lot today, but it's early in the day. We're gonna miss the rain and the traps are pulled. Well, we had 34 in that batch right there, so what is that? 120, 113, 34, 267. Not bad for the first time out in Minnesota here. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned. I think there's going to be a boiling video coming up next. We'll see you guys on the next video.